Hello everybody, my name is Cirque and it is raining here on the Night Owl server again. <laughs> so much rain. Uh, <clears throat> sorry if my voice sounds bad, very low and raspy. Uh, woke up yesterday with just bad sore throat and uh, it's a little bit better today but uh, still, still not great. So we're at the Guardian Farm again, of course. <laughs> Uh, I have four pads completed on this thing now. One, two, three, four. They don't really spawn on the top pad because it does seem that they spawn at least better in darkness. I don't know if they have light requirements, uh, but they definitely spawn more often in the darker spots. Um, and it's also kind of hard to see them from here because <clears throat> uh, if they're too far away, they don't render in. And I think, like, right past the middle point is, like, just far enough away for them to not render in. Uh, but we do have some Guardian spawning. Uh, it's it's working. It certainly is working. And I'm going to actually take a break from um, building pads here. I'm trying to go up here backwards so that I can still look at it, but it's kind of hard. Uh, oh, Enderman. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to take a bit break from building pads here. Let other people have the uh, <clears throat> have access to the prismarine if they need it for builds. And uh, honestly, the main thing I need to work on now is lighting up caves. I'm trying to get rid of uh, other spawning spaces for hostile mobs around this area, so that uh, so that we get more guardians spawning here. Let's head down to the lower level though, which uh, with these portals is pretty easy you just gotta go through this portal and now we're at the bottom portal in the nether <clears throat> I need to fix these portals they don't quite match up correctly I've done a lot of work here kind of finalizing the collection system add a lot more chests here we have all the guardians falling so it's a lot more impressive down here than up there you can definitely see see a lot more coming down um, so it is working I AFK'd here for like half an hour and um, the rates are about, I found them to be about 3,000 items per hour, which isn't terrible, but it's not great. Um, in creative with this like platform idea, uh, with a perimeter, no spawning spaces around, I got about 12,000 items per hour, so that's the... That's like the limit. Obviously, we're not gonna reach that in, uh, you know, in survival. Um, but at least we can try and up the odds a little, or up the uh, rates a little bit by letting up, up a lot more caves and such. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> so uh, I used to just have six chests per item. I now have sixteen. Decided to expand it because I was having looks like some people took some very nice uh, I think so unless this thing is broken but I'm pretty sure that that chest shouldn't be empty if uh, if it's filling um, but yeah I was having a few items overflow like especially these fish I have tons of fish there's over eight chests nine working on the tenth <laughs> double chest of raw fish I haven't put in a garbage chute yet for any extra stuff. Uh, I will have to do that as well. Uh, but yeah, we got quite a few shards there. We got quite a few crystals. Working on our seventh double chest of crystals. Got a few ink sacks. Not very many. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I actually I changed this around, this item elevator. Uh, before I had a normal like one uh, like a two tick clock, one tick clock. I'm not sure how fast it is. Must be a, uh, it's, it'd be about three ticks actually, two or three ticks. <clears throat> I had that clock running um, whenever there was item in the bottom dropper, and then that would activate a torch tower. Uh, but I was having problems with items getting stuck in one of the droppers. They would uh, bunch up in there. 
and it had to do with the droppers like activating and deactivating at certain times because uh, when, when a dropper is powered you can't put items into it like with another dropper um, or with a hopper I don't think so I was having some issues with that so instead I decided to use this comparator clock uh, which also is a lot faster and I just have it going up slabs and that powers the whole tower so when there's items in here it just it pulses very quickly and uh, pushes the items up pretty pretty fast uh, which is very good and then up here I have two hoppers for each item so I have shards there and there crystals there and there uh, fish there and there and then the junk or the other goes down into a hopper and uh, I wanted to do that because I was having a lot of stuff go into the um, like kind of miss the hopper every once in a while they'll just not pick it up and so here there's two chances for it to pick up uh, it doesn't seem like it usually misses the first hopper often uh, but it has happened so this kind of prevents that um, and one very important thing with this is I had to put something that's not going to go through the farm in these last four slots. Uh, like sometimes if I was doing a sorting, I would have uh, just one of each of the item in there. And then I would put, it'd be 18 in this slot. Uh, so if I was sorting out cooked fish, this is usually what it would look like. Now with this, I can't really do that because... Um, what would happen is if these two columns of chests all filled up, then actually I might have fixed that anyways. But before, let's see how <laughs> how did I fix that? That's a good question. Actually, yeah, if all of these chests filled up for the shards, uh, what would happen is these hoppers would fill up with shards, which means you'd have a stack of shards in each one. And when if you emptied out the shards in there, it would wreck the sorting system. Um, hey, Chad. Because it would pull all of the items out of the first slot, since there was you know over 22 items in here. Um, it would pull all of them out the first slot, it would pull all of them out the second slot, and it would pull a whole bunch, emptying the slots, and then whatever the hop or then whatever went over this would get picked up by the hopper. It would ruin the the uh, sorting. Whereas with this, um, even if this hopper fills up with shards, it's just gonna go into the first slot. You'll have a stack of shards in the first slot, and then uh, as it empties, once it gets to 18, there will be 22 items in the hopper, and it will stop emptying. Uh, so that is a very important thing to note. Um, with these sorting systems is that uh, although you can do you know the same item in all of them uh, it could potentially cause problems and so yeah that's that uh, that yep <laughs> so yeah been doing a lot of work here and I'm kind of sick of being here honestly uh, and it seems to be working all right um, so we're going to not work on this for a while. I will have to come back later and actually finish up this area, make it look nice, uh, fix the portals, possibly build more pads, um, but that's not really a priority. Uh, but actually, I want to grab one of these guys and bring them back to spawn. Chad's already done it. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how he did it, if he grabbed him from here or not. Um, but we're going to try doing that. Actually... Huh. He'll be at the bottom of the nether. Maybe I'll talk to Chad, see how he got uh see how he got the guardians back. Um because I would like to bring one back to spawn for my own purposes. Alright, so I <laughs> I put some water down here and uh stopped the guardians from dying. And one of them flopped out. I killed a bunch until I had just one left, and then uh, he flopped out, and I kind of got him to go into the nether portal. So let's try... I'm kind of afraid. Okay, sweet. Uh, and it connected to the top portal, because I broke the bottom portal. So now, 
Okay, awesome. We have a guardian. Let's bring him back. He's not shooting me. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to pick up some of this track, too. Okay, so I have a name tag for this guy. Stop. Stop trying to shoot me. Let's get that down here. And name tagged. Haha. <laughs> Drax. After the uh, the Guardian. That, you know, he, he kind of looks like Drax, doesn't he? Guardian of the Galaxy. Uh, which is a fantastic movie. I don't know if I've said that yet, but uh, I went and saw it the day it came out, and that was such a good movie. Uh, I, I I loved it. It was, I would say yes, my favorite Marvel movie. Uh, it was just so good. So good. Uh, but yeah, when I was thinking of a name for this guy, I figured, you know, wanted to name him after one of those Guardians, <laughs> Guardian of the Galaxy. And uh, Drax seemed like the right choice, because they're kind of, uh, at least Drax in the movie, I think, like, Drax, the, the actual character looks different than uh, what they made him in the movie, but <clears throat> in the movie he was kind of like a, 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 well, this he's kind of this color, like the skin was, and then he had kind of like reddish markings on him, uh, whereas this Guardian has orange, but whatever, you know, it's still pretty good I like it so let's get you over over to there there we go off you go yes maybe yeah you seem to be going all right <laughs> oh my god okay uh, I came out to the out of the nether because I had to go get some blocks to put rails on warning Steve eating piranhas warning swim at your own risk someone's already brought uh, was this Chad Let's see. Let's see. Did you put? God, come on. <laughs> and I cannot type right now in the atrium. Wow, <laughs> that's hilarious. Got some piranhas swimming around here. Got one up in the pool over here. Uh, it's Joe. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. What's this guy's name? What's your name, buddy? Uh, no, oh, they're both Joe. Very nice. Okay. Okay, I have some more tracks set up, so let's push this guy down. There you go. Goodbye. I don't think he can shoot you when he's, like, right next to you. Which is pretty nice. Just gotta stay on him, and then he, uh, he doesn't cause any problems. And... Let's see, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna go in... Unless I take him out of the minecart. So let's break the minecart. He should go in. It's been enough time. <clears throat> and then I have the other side of the portal all guarded. Wait, where'd he go? Did he get out? There he is. What are you doing out? Oh, this is going to cause problems. Also, the server seems to be lagging or something. Ouch. Did he make it to the water? Oh no. Oh, dang. Uh, how'd he get out of here? I mean, I had that all covered up. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to rustle him up. Okay, I got him. <laughs> I got him cornered off. Stop trying to shoot me. It's not nice. Uh, let's just get rid of that bucket of water, and we'll pick up that water. And I should be able to stick. Uh, am I too high, maybe? Can I? There we go. And then maybe another one, just so that we can have the minecart move a little bit nicer. So I'll pick him up easier. And go in. There we go. Yay, we have him in there. Again. Okay, I got the rest of the track laid out, so we should just have to push this guy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Go. Go, my friend. Alright, we're almost there, and uh, if you'll notice, we're taking him to the modern house. Right into the fish tank. Yes, that is the plan. Oh, I don't want to hit you. Get out of the way. Um, no, oh shoot, that was the, the fern that was there. Uh, let's see, how are we gonna, how are we gonna break? I think we'll go on the inside, maybe. Uh, soap touch pick, there we go. 
So I have, I haven't really given up on the fish. I could still get that to kind of work. Um, but I figured now that we have these guardians, it'd be a lot cooler to actually have one of these guys in here rather than just a, a few little fish. So let's try, I don't want to hit you. There we go. And the minecart can just stay in there. I got quite a few of them. There we go. Aha, Drax is home. Now, he's going to be flopping around there and squeaking a lot because I don't have water. And I don't really want to put water in there. Uh, the problem with water is that you can't see it. Uh, especially since you know, the only way you could really see it before, like through the water, through glass or something, was uh, with ice. And they took that away. They took it away in 1.7, I believe that was. And it's very sad. Um, so we don't have that those capabilities anymore. Uh, and now, you know, there's really no good way to have water behind something uh, and still be able to see in there. So he is going to... He's going to just be flopping around squeaking. But I think it will be nice. Uh, it, we have a pet. We have a pet guardian. And he doesn't drown, or he doesn't asphyx asphyx asphyxiate, so uh, he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I think the rest of the episode, maybe we'll work on the outside of this place a bit. Try and get try and get this modern house fish, finished up, not fished up. <laughs> uh, try and get it finished up a bit so that we can uh, go work on some other projects that I have, uh, have in mind. So yeah, Drax seems to be doing alright. I mean, he's flopping around a bit, but... Uh, I think he likes it here. I think he likes his new home. So, I got a few things uh, done around here. Just a couple of things. Like here, I have a sink now. And I put the painting with the creeper. So it kind of looks like you're looking at, at a creeper in the mirror. Um, I changed around this area over here. This was different before. And now it's like this, and uh, using the new dark oak doors to make a nice cabinet here. Um, and one nice thing is, like, I had the idea of putting uh, item frames here with armor. So it would be like my wardrobe, but now we actually have armor stands, which is fantastic. And I do have some wood. Let's see, let's go find a crafting table. I know I have one up here in the kitchen. Let's make some sticks. And... A uh, slab in the middle. So now we can, you know, put a nice armor stand in here to kind of have a wardrobe. We could have even have like a couple of them. I think that'd look pretty cool. Yeah, I like that idea. Very nice. Maybe we'll even put one of these up by the entrance, um, so that you can hang your hat on it. I guess <laughs> hang your hat and your coat on it. it could be like a coat rack. Uh, but that that is really cool. Uh, one thing I love about playing with the snapshots is uh, you can be in the middle of a project and all of a sudden cool stuff will get added and it will just enhance what you're doing. Uh, it will give you something new to play around with and I love it. Very fantastic. You know, now we have these guardians. We have the doors that I can I can now use these doors for some of this stuff. Um, oh, I have a crafting table right here. <laughs> Very nice. I was thinking maybe use birch door for some of this stuff. Uh, like we could put a birch door here. I wonder if we should do kind of thinking inside. Do something like that. Or maybe we should do outside. Uh, one thing about these though is um, when you break these new doors, they give you oak doors. <laughs> which really sucks. Uh... So it's like if you if you don't get it right, then that's that's not good. I think I like it. I like the depth on the outside. That's really what it comes down to. Is like where do you want the depth to be? You know, you can either have a flat wall on the inside or a flat wall on the outside. And I think we'll put the flat wall on the outs or on the inside. Um, and I do like the birch door here. I think this is a good spot for it. Maybe we'll do a birch door. Actually, we might want to do dark oak there. I'm not sure. I'm thinking birch door here. 
I think that will work. Although that one I almost think should be on the outside. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like that. That can be on the inside. Um, and then we'll have a door here. Maybe, well... There's not a whole lot of choices, because... I mean, it's either oak, spruce... Or not spruce. Oak, dark oak, or birch. And oak, I'm not a real big fan of. Mainly because we've had... <laughs> that's what we've been stuck with for so long. And so it, it almost seems bad to use them now that we have other doors. Um, but also, there's no oak in this house. There's, you know, birch and dark oak. So I feel like we should use the birch or the dark oak. But I don't know where exactly to use them. Um, but this will work. I think I like that. And then I think we'll just stick this one. I think we'll just stick it right there. Yeah, that will work. I like that. That will do good for now. I was thinking, I kind of, I don't know if I like that opening on the top. I mean, I kind of do, but maybe not. Especially with this opening here. I don't know, I'll have to play around with that. Uh, one other thing that I did that I forgot about uh, is I changed, these used to be oak doors on the back, but now we could have either, we could have another door. And uh, I was actually trying to decide, now that I think about it, I kind of like the acacia, because it looks like a chair with a slotted back. I wonder if I have any more acacia over here. I don't remember. I do. So let's get some acacia wood. And we can make a couple more doors and replace those. All right. Yeah, I think this is going to look pretty nice. Uh, one thing I was a little wary about is, like, the color. Um, you know, it's acacia, which I don't have, you know, that sort of orangish color anywhere in else in the house. But... I think that'll look good. Be nice in the in the dining room. Be kind of nice if I put a flower pot on the table, but then I would have to break one of these carpets. But maybe I can put a flower pot over here. Ooh. Uh <laughs> in this snapshot, creepers uh creepers go after iron golems and in fact Creepers kind of attacked Tiger's Bank here. There's some creeper holes in there. Because uh, they were able to get inside. Yeah, I think that creeper just blew up by that iron golem over there. Uh, but yeah, the creepers were able to get inside because the door would... Like, the iron golems could step on the door. or Actually, creepers could just walk right through there. Uh, and open the door here. And so they were going after the iron golems. And then they would explode on them. Not too good for his uh, bank. Although, if you've watched Vert's recent videos, his bank is already uh, cleaned out from from an unknown burglar. We, I don't, I don't know if it's Vert or not, but someone, someone burglarized, <laughs> blew a large hole in the safe. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll have to play around with that. I don't know if I like. My biggest problem is with like we have that opening and that opening. I don't know if that really works. I'll have to play around with that. Uh, but I do want to do some of the landscaping today as well. And oh. Oh, did I give Tiger my shovel? Ah, uh, he came after me. He came after me with Kamikaze for the death games. And I killed him. And I picked up his stuff and put it in a chest for him. I might have given him my shovel. So I'll have to get that back. But um... I have some ideas for a landscaping thing here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I'm kind of thinking something like this. And then right in there we'll have uh, probably the pod sole, because I like pod sole. So I have this cool step design. And then we'll have stairs going alongside it. And then we can have plants in the pod sole. So we'll do something like this. And then maybe even up here we'll do it. I don't know. Something along those lines. I'll have to, you know, clean that up. 
Um, but yeah, and then we'll have steps kind of going right down here as well. Uh, which, I'm not sure what I should make that out of. I'm kind of thinking, well, the only s real stone that we have... Maybe sandstone. I wonder if red... S nah, red sandstone probably wouldn't look good, but maybe regular sandstone. Uh, otherwise, we could use wood. I don't want to use stone brick because I have that as that. Um, or I could go with cobble. I'll have to play around with that for a little bit. Okay, I think I got a bit of a path worked out here. I like it. Um, well, I don't know about, you know, it's all gray. I'm not sure if that's going to be good or not. Uh, it'll definitely help if I get some plants in here. Um, that'll kind of add some nice green to that side. Um, it won't just look like a bunch of big stone stone things there. Uh, but I do like how the path kind of works. I like these little areas for plants. Path goes up. There's, It's a stair slab and then full block and then stair slab full block. Then I got this path going to the front door. A little bit of... Uh, uh, or a little bit of a garden out in the front. Um, this path will continue, or will kind of break off this way to, I'm not sure where I want to do it, if I want to do it like here, uh, and have it go off to the road, or if I want to move it over one, I'll have to figure that out. Um, but I'll just pretty much use this design, I like that, with the, uh, andesite in the middle and the polished andesite on the outside um, and then we'll have to do something with the yard I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with it uh, you know hmm. like it seems so rugged right now or unfinished but I don't really want to do the whole like clay yard type thing that uh, some people do for a modern house uh but I think if we just add, you know, like I'll probably put some more podsole along the house here. Maybe put an edging around that. Have some nice bushes. Uh, maybe put a few small trees. Uh, which, with our fences, I don't know if I have any leaves actually. Uh, no, I don't think I have any leaves. But uh, you've probably seen... Uh, sometimes when people make small trees, they use fences for, like, the tree trunk. I think you'd be able to make uh, even better small trees now with using, like, spruce or dark oak uh, fences. I think you could make something that looks really good. So we might have to try that out. Uh, just have a few nicely trimmed small trees uh, kind of lining the yard all in a line. Uh, we'll have to continue this road out. Uh, but that is going to have to wait. Uh, this episode is about over. I want to do one more thing before we go, though, and that is I want to figure out what color door we want. So there's a normal oak door. I don't like it at all. <laughs> um, that was never really an option. I don't even know why I tried it. I was originally going to use an iron door, which I do have here. So we could do iron door. It's kind of it kind of blends in. Um, before that was the uh, the most modern we could do, so that was why I was going to do that. But now we have other doors, so we do have acacia or not acacia. We have birch, which I kind of like. Uh, it's different, like it it doesn't really match anything else. Uh, it matches the birch on the inside, you know. There we go. So, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Uh, but let's try out the dark oak. See if that looks better. Hmm. Ooh. Maybe. I think it... What do you guys think? I like this one because it goes with the brown on the outside. But, I get, you know, honestly, I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> like, it does look like a chocolate bar. It's It's too shiny, I think. It's almost too shiny of a door. Uh, but I do like it. It even goes with the inside because you have the brown around the out, uh, around there. Um, I 
I think I'm leaning more towards the dark oak right now. Although honestly, I think we need we need something in here. And then if we put something in here like uh some sort of just border or if we put some sort of decoration, a lamp or something, somehow make a lamp, I don't know how, but <laughs> if we do something there, it might make it look better. Uh but yeah, I think that is about it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of fun getting that uh getting the guardian over here. Kind of working on some exterior work. Um but yeah. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, peoples. <laughs>